That is too close. Tangle teaser where you at? Tangle teaser where you at? <laughs> All the way over there. Hi, I'm back. Oh! Hi guys, so I've got a video that I've already attempted to film once. I filmed it a couple of weeks ago and then I realised that my back my background was way too dark. I was still filming against my shells and they just were way too dark. So I've decided to refilm it and I'm pretty sure I've got everything that I've bought lately makeup wise. I've been using this stuff since that video so I'm hoping that I've like picked everything back up. Oh, I think I forgot to say, you'll know by the title obviously, but this is a high-end haul and first impressions video. I did one of these for drugstore makeup and I asked if you wanted a high-end version and most of you said yes, so that's what I'm gonna do. So the first thing is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation. I heard everybody raving about this, saying how good it is and stuff, so I thought that I would just pick it up myself. And firstly, I love the bottle, it's just in a glass bottle, but the top of it is so cool. It's got a little pump on it, but it fits your finger perfectly. They've like designed that so well. I've only tried this foundation once because I'm pretty sure I got it in the really wrong colour. Yeah, I did, it's way too dark for me, which is so frustrating. It's a really nice like high coverage matte finish, I think. Not as high coverage as the MAC Studio Fix which I used to love wearing, but still it's got a lot of coverage. So if you're wanting to cover a lot up, this would be a really good one. It's also got SPF 15 in it. As I said, I've only tried this once, so I can't really report back on what I think. The only thing that I can say is that mine is too dark and that was my error, obviously. But also, I don't know if I'm too keen on the formula. I think it might be a bit too dry looking on my skin, which is weird because I don't necessarily have dry skin, so. That's a bit strange. I'm gonna give it a go and I'll update you on my vlog channel what I think about it. But for now, I'm not too keen. The next thing I got is the MAC Mineralized Concealer and I got mine in the shade NW15. And this is way, way, way too light and brightening for me. As you guys probably know, I wear fake tan. But I did used to wear the NC15 MAC Pro Longwear Concealer with my tan, but I think because this is a really, really super dewy one, it just is too much on me. It's like too light reflecting and too light. So maybe if I had this in a darker colour, it would be better. However, it does crease a lot and it is very, very dewy. So if you've got really dry skin and really dry under eyes, it would probably be really good for you, but for me, it's not too great. I do like the packaging though, it's cool. On to eyes, I bought the NARS Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base and I've been using this every day and I love it. It's replaced my MAC Paint Pots which do crease on me after a while. This really doesn't crease on me. I think I've heard Ingrid talk about it. She's got super oily skin. I think it's her favourite one and I totally get why. Like I get quite oily eyelids and I do put my moisturiser on them because I don't want to miss that part of my face. Because I did this scan a while ago for cancer research and they basically scanned my whole face and told me where my problem areas were and they said that my eyelids and like my eyebrows were really dry because I was avoiding putting moisturiser on so now I do that but that means that my eyeshadow creases a lot however I think this is amazing honestly I would recommend this to everybody I think it's way better than the MAC paint pots it's quite clear though like it doesn't have any colour to it so it doesn't get rid of your veiny eyelids so if you do have them and you just want a product to like put on and then not have any eyeshadow on I wouldn't recommend this because it's clear but aside from that it's really good. I've got two eyeshadows and they're both from MAC and they're both the foiled eyeshadows and the first one is in the shade Magic In Your Eyes which is a gorgeous kind of purpley lilac-y silver. It's super glittery, it doesn't like foil on your eyes. I think this is so pretty, it'd look incredible on either blue eyes or green eyes. It definitely does bring out the green in my eyes and I just think it's a really pretty eyeshadow. I like the formula as well, it's really blendable, like you can just pack it on with your finger and then blend the edges and you're kind of good to go. It's a really good quick eyeshadow. And the next colour I got is in Fairy Fair. Fairy. Very, very, I'm not too sure. This is literally copper. It's the exact shade that everybody's been raving about in homeware. So if you want to match your homeware, <laughs> this would be a good one to go for. I don't think it personally suits me. It's a lot like Amber Lights by MAC. 
like very, very orangey gold. This would look amazing on blue eyes. Your eyes would just pop like crazy. But on my colour eyes, I'm not too sure. And I just think cooler tones suit me better. So this other one suits me a lot more. But this is still a really pretty eyeshadow, just not for me. So I might be passing it on to one of my friends. I've also recently picked up another Benefit Their Real Mascara. Now this used to be my absolute favourite mascara. I thought it gave me so much volume and length. But since I've tried it again, I'm not too keen. It doesn't seem to do... Oh my god, Nelly terrified me. He's catching a fly right now and I think it's flying away. Nelly, don't eat it. No. Oh my god, he's got it in his mouth. He better not bring it to me. That's disgusting. Anyway, back to the mascara. The one I've got on today is actually a L'Oreal one and I personally think that works way better than this. So I would just recommend drugstore mascaras more than this. Although I do really like the Too Faced Better Than Sex and the Makeup Forever Smoky Lash like layered together. They're my favourite mascaras right now. This one, I just don't think it really does anything. It gives me length, but like no volume. And I don't really need the length. My lashes are quite long. So I don't really like this anymore. Which is strange, because it used to be my favourite. On to face products. The first one I got is the Charlotte Tilbury Filmstar Bronze and Glow. And this is the cream version. I feel like I'm just complaining about everything in this video. But I'm going to tell you my honest opinions. Like I loved most things in my drugstore video, but in this one, I'm not digging a lot of them. So this is a cream formula which first off I usually love cream formulas. Bourjois do a bronzing primer which I am obsessed with in summer I just love that and I love the Chanel Sole Tan de Chanel. I think that's really good. This one though just feels watery to me like I put it on my cheeks and it just doesn't get that much pigment out. I feel like it blends into nothing but also I think it's really orangey as well. On me, it's just really not a good colour match for a bronzer. I do really like the highlighter. It's a very wet look highlighter. So it, it is good if you're using a cream bronzer with it and a cream blusher. It creates like really, really dewy skin. But the bronzer, I'm just not that keen on. I do love the packaging though. I think it's really quirky. On to something I do like. <laughs> These are the NARS multiples. And the first one I've got is in the shade G-Spot. I've actually got the NARS Orgasm one and I love it so much but that got sent to me so I didn't buy it so I haven't included it but G-Spot is kind of a berry shade. It's got a few bits of glitter in but they're not too big and there's not too many. This is just a really really pretty berry. It would look gorgeous in the autumn time. They blend really well. Just a little swipe onto your cheek and then you can blend it in with your fingers or a brush and it honestly just looks super pretty. Adds just a really nice flush of colour. And then the next one I got is in, in the shade Copacabana and this is a highlighter. If you know me and you've watched my videos for ages you'll know that I love the liquid version of this. I do prefer the liquid version but I do really really like this and I think going into summer I'll be using this a lot more. It's super easy. You literally just swipe it once on, on your cheekbones, blend it in with your fingers which takes two seconds and then you're done. It's like a really quick highlighter. It looks really really natural as well. The final things that I got are lip products and you might have seen me wearing this pink one quite a lot. A lot of you have been asking what it is whenever I've worn it on Snapchat and stuff and I did do a Valentine's Day tutorial with this one. It's just really pretty kind of pinky purpley makeup so if you'd like to see that I'll leave it in a link below. But these are the MAC Retro Matte Liquid Lip Colours. That is such a tongue twister. And this is a shade tailored to tease. Firstly I love the applicator. It's really pointed so you can do like a lip liner on your lips and then just fill it in and I always find that just one swipe like one pull out of it is enough product for both of my lips it does my whole lip what I normally do is just kind of start in the middle go all the way around my lips and then do a lip line around it with the tip I think the applicator works really well it gets just enough product on and this color is stunning this is the only one I think that I would wear out I just think it's the most gorgeous like fuchsia pinky shade and it goes really nicely with my hair color the next one I've got is in the shade dance with me and it's a very deep red with kind of a berry tone to it now I really do like this one but this formula in general does go really dry on my lips and I don't know if that's because I'm used to wearing lip balm literally every second of the day so whenever I wear a matte lip product I'm like oh dying but they just 
tend to settle into the cracks of my lips a bit and they don't look bad, they just make my lips look dry. The pink one is the one that does that the least or looks like it does it the least. I don't know, the colour just kind of masks it. But with this one you can definitely tell after a couple of hours that it doesn't look that great on me. But I do love the colour. And if you are used to wearing matte lip products, I would definitely give them a go. The last one is called High Drama and this is the one that I was the most excited for because if you know me, you'll know that I love like oxblood deep, deep purple shades. But this is horrendous. It took me three coats to get it to be opaque. I don't know why, but the pigment in this one just isn't there at all. With one swipe, it goes really patchy. And then with two swipes, it goes patchy again, but not as bad. It definitely needs three coats and I just would not recommend this color at all. But overall, I do like the color. And if you want him to wear a really intense lip, they are good, except for the last one. Just really wouldn't recommend that. And that is the end of my high-end haul. Let me know what you've been buying recently or what you liked the best in this video in the comments. And give this video a thumbs up if you like the format of these. I'm sorry that I didn't wear the makeup today, but because I didn't like a few of the products, I didn't want to keep them on my face for the whole video. So hopefully just the close-ups and stuff are okay enough for you guys. But usually I would just keep the makeup on in the video so you can see it all the way through. If you haven't seen my drugstore version of this, I'll leave it in a link below because that one was really good. There were so many good products that I love. But yeah, give this video a thumbs up if you like the format and if you'd like me to keep doing them every time I buy some makeup. And subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more of me and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Mwah. Creepy. Just when the time is right, you'll be here but for now, dear no one, this is your song. Oh, oh, oh. In my life, there are times when I catch in the sun.